Welcome to the Lenten Reflection from St. Charles Catholic Church, Victory Park, brought to you every Wednesday by the Parish Pastoral Council. Let's begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Day 1, Ash Wednesday, Matthew 6, 1-6. Be careful not to parade your good deeds before men to check their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpet before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. Your alms giving must be secret and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, <coughs> go to your private room and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. Reflection. One of the most important parts of true prayer is that it takes place deep in the inner room of your soul. It is there in the inner depths of your being that you will meet God. St. Teresa of Avila, one of the greatest spiritual writers in the history of our church, describes the soul as a castle in which God dwells. Meeting Him, praying to Him, and communion with Him requires that we enter into the deepest and innermost chamber within this castle of our soul. It is there, in the innermost dwelling, that the full glory and beauty of God is discovered. God is not just a God who is out there, far away in heaven. He is a God who is closer and more intimate than we could ever imagine. Lent is a time, more than any other time of the year, when we must strive to make that journey inward so as to discover the indwelling of the Most Holy Trinity. What does God want to view this Lent? It is easy to begin Lent with more superficial commitments, such as giving up a favorite food or doing an extra good deed. Some choose to use this Lent as a time to get in better physical shape, and others decide to dedicate more time to spiritual reading or other holy exercises. All of this is good and useful. But you can be certain that the deepest desire of our Lord for you this Lent is that you pray. Prayer, of course, is much more than saying prayers. It is not only saying the rosary or meditating upon scripture or reciting beautiful composed prayers. Prayer is ultimately a relationship with God. It's an encounter with the triune God who dwells within you. True prayer is an act of love between you and your beloved. It is an exchange of persons, your life or God's. Prayer is an act of union and communion by which we become one with God and God becomes one with us. The great mystics have taught us that there are many levels to prayer. We often begin with the recitation of prayers, such as the beautiful prayer of the rosary, from where we meditate, ponder, and reflect deeply upon the mysteries of our Lord and his life. We come to know him more fully and little by little discover that we are no longer just thinking about God, but we are gazing at Him face to face. As we begin the holy season of Lent, reflect upon your practice of prayer. If the images of prayer presented here intrigue you, then make a commitment to discover more. Commit yourself to the discovery of God in prayer. There is no limit and no end to the depth to which God wants to draw you through prayer. True prayer is never boring. When you discover true prayer, you discover the infinite mystery of God. And this discovery is more glorious than anything you could ever imagine in life. My divine Lord, I give myself to you this Lent. Draw me in so that I may come to know you more. Reveal to me your divine presence dwelling deep within me, calling me to yourself. May this Lent, dear Lord, be glorious as I strengthen my love and devotion through the discovery of the gift of true prayer. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen.